Hey everyone, my name is Yoshi and I play the bass. This is my first YouTube video, so thanks for tuning in and I'm excited to share this with you all. Uh, today we're going to talk about three reasons to make music during a pandemic. First one, maybe a little bit shallow, but first one's money. Um, but not just money for the performer, uh, not just money for the musicians, but I've seen many musicians raise money not just for themselves, but to raise money for others who are struggling in this pandemic and for other relief causes. And so it's inspiring to be able to have been able to raise and earn several thousand dollars over the course of the past few months since the start of the social distancing aspect of the pandemic. And you know, uh, I've seen it done through live stream recitals, through asynchronous videos, which, is pretty, which are pretty popular uh, nowadays. Um, digital recordings and just the list goes on. So it's nice to be able to um, know that there is money to be had or to be raised during this time. Reason number two, to continue the tradition of making music. For millennia, people have practiced the art of making music and people kept doing it and passing it on to the next generation and we are just a part of that history, which is kind of exciting to be a part of it. Um, so pandemic or no pandemic, it's important to keep that music alive and keep that tradition alive so that when we get out of this together, we have the ability and there's still something to pass on. So for every digital concert that happens, for every recording that happens, for every YouTube live or Instagram live that happens uh, where people are sharing music, we are continuing that tra tradition to be able to keep it alive for us to pass down to the next generation. Um, and reason number three, and the most important reason, is to connect people. So you know, happiness, joy, sadness, whatever feelings that an audience member or anyone we share music with feels um, when we share music, it, it's, it's not quantifiable. But let's say if it were quantifiable, like one unit measurement of happiness or one unit measurement of connection or joy or sadness or anger, um, we're able to create that for free as musicians, which is kind of wild if you think about it, because it's kind of like uh, if you were to just point your finger to a bank account and say, okay, you get $3 and you get $20 and you get $100, but we get to do that with units of happiness or joy or rage or whatever uh, emotion that we want to be able to communicate with our music. And so what an incredible superpower that we have during this pandemic. All you just have to do is hit record, play some music and say, hey, this is a music that I love. Here you go. I hope you like it. And I want to share it with you. Please enjoy. And so um, I've done, uh, had the pl privilege of being able to do um, some live stream solo recitals, um, been uh, part of many different asynchronous videos and digital recordings. Um, and you know, if bass player can do solo recitals over the interwebs, I challenge uh, every other instrument to be able to do the same. Um, and uh, it's been such an incredible experience to be able to uh, make music during a pandemic. Um, it's definitely different times now, but it's important to keep that fire going and keep that connection going, connecting to different audiences, connecting to each other, um, and making sure that we remember that we are all human and through the interwebs, like I'm sharing with you, uh, we're able to share the music that we love and hold true to our hearts. So with that said, thanks for tuning in and I hope to see you for my next YouTube video.